a lot of people they kind of use yesterday to recover after their New Year's Eve festivities and everything gets really implemented come January the 2nd, especially when it comes to some of these resolutions. Joining us from the Bariatric Medical Institute, Dr. Yanni Friedhoff, great to have you back on the show. Thank you. Uh, and so we might as well start right off the bat. First guest, uh, talking about New Year's resolutions, especially when it comes to weight loss. And you are brilliant at kind of putting a great perspective on things when it comes to this topic. Well, if you say so. But um, in terms of resolutions, I think the most important thing, whether it's about weight or about fitness or about anything at all, is that whatever resolution you choose to try to adopt, you need to actually be able to think to yourself, you know, I could do that forever. I actually think I might like doing that. Because more often than not, people will set these resolutions that they won't like. Now, if we're talking about fitness, they might say, you know, I'm going to exercise an hour a day, you know, mm -hmm. five days a week, you know, and that's what I'm going to do. But they know from their life experience that that is never going to last a lifetime. You know, that's going to last maybe a few months, which at best, which is, of course, what the gyms want. Um, but ultimately, you know, what people should be doing is setting up small, specific, and actionable and measurable things. People have maybe heard of smart resolutions, mm -hmm. but that's the way to go. It's not this, I'm going to be healthier, I'm going to lose weight, I'm going to get fit, but it's more specific in terms of how are you going to do that. Okay, so, you, you know, you have a new book coming out and it's, it's hitting us into the new year. It's called Why Diets Fail and How to Make Yours Work. So, I'm, I'm sure a lot of these tips that you're about to give us will be kind of seen through that as well. But wh how do you then tell someone who's sitting on the couch right now who had this grandiose view of setting these resolutions what to do now? What's the next step that they well, take? Well, I'd start small, you know. So whether it's someone who's decided, okay, I'm going to pack a lunch three days a week rather than go out to the various local fast food organizations, and I'm going to do that for a month. So that's a very specific thing. It's measurable. It's actionable. It's realistic. It's not a big deal, and it's time-bound, meaning that I'm going to do this for a month. You start with small things and you pick them off. It's like the snowball approach to doing these sorts of things. There's this thing called the snowball approach to debt where you pay off your smallest one first and you build off of that and you build this giant snowball. I think you can make a snowball of change if you pick small things and actually do them. But also crucial to figure out what you're going to do. Weight loss, for instance, it's the most common resolution by far, but saying you're going to lose weight, that's not a resolution, that's a hope. But if you want to actually resolve to lose weight, well, you need to resolve those things that might get you there, whether it's specific dietary changes, specific approaches to exercise and healthy living as a whole, not simply saying, oh, you know, I really hope I lose weight this year, because that is not specific. All right, so should these be written down? Should they have goals you know, in place, especially when you're talking about the snowball effect, because you hope then come a couple weeks from now and the first little thing starts to roll that they can pick that up. Yeah, I mean, I think that there's no doubt writing things down and keeping track of what you're doing, being organized is crucial to life success in anything, including New Year's resolutions. But I think setting smaller resolutions that are actually behavior-based, that you think you could actually enjoy might get you where you want to go. You have clients that come into your office, so they've taken that first action in terms of making a point where we're actually coming to see and seeking guidance. So where should people be looking for that information so that they can make these small changes appropriately? Yeah, it's a great question. You know, information, there's a ton of it out there. I like what I write, I'm biased that way. Um, so certainly coming onto my blog and looking around there, you might find some ideas and inspiration. In fact, there's a resolution series that I put together last year and on the sidebar panel on the right side of the blog, you can click resolution series, where I've got 12 doable, realistic New Year's resolutions that I think people might be able to pick off. Doable, that is, it is staying within the confines of something that you, it's no longer a hope. Yeah. I, I, I think that the resolution, I want to lose weight, but how are you gonna, how are you gonna actually approach that? That's right, that's right. I mean, I'm a runner, I'd like to be faster, but I can't set the goal of being faster, but I could set the goal of how I train. You know, I could do hill work, I could do interval training, I could go often when I, and run throughout the winter, which I often don't do, I'm a fair weather runner. Those might make me faster, but I can't simply put my finger and say, oh, I'm gonna achieve that time. I don't think it works that way. All right, so on your, on your blog are the 12 attainable things that you have put there. Yes, they're you, very attainable. They're so on the right-hand <laughs> side, it's Resolution Series is the name of the, the blog tag for those posts, and you can find them pretty easily. Okay, can they get that through your website as well, bmimedical.ca? I don't know if it's there, but weightymatters.ca is my blog, and certainly you can find those resolutions. They are doable. Weightymatters.ca. Yes, ma'am. Weightymatters.ca. Always a pleasure. We'll be hitting you up 
again for some more Today's the Days as well. And the book, watch for it. It will be coming out. <laughs> Why Diets Fail and How to Make Yours Work. Thank you so much. Thank you.